Another method of taking a running fix is by doubling the angle on the bow, having in mind the properties of an isosceles triangle. This fix requires the first bearing to be less than 45 degrees from the bow. Assuming the course is 0, 90 degrees and the speed is 10 knots or 10 nautical miles per hour, we take a bearing of 0, 060 degrees of the Charlie radio tower at 0, 0,900 or 30 degrees from the bow. Now convert the compass bearings to true bearings and plot it on the chart. We observe the Charlie radio tower and when the new bearing reads 0, 030 degrees or 60 degrees from the bow, we note the time 0, 0915. Now convert the compass bearings to true bearings and plot it on the chart. Knowing the speed, 10 knots, and the elapsed time between the two bearings, 15 minutes, we use the formula D is equal to S times T divided by 60 to calculate the sailing distance between the two bearings. In our case, that's 2.5 nautical miles per hour. As we can see, the two bearings and the course form an isosceles triangle, ABC, where sides C and B are equal. That means that the distance from the Charlie radio tower when we took the second bearing at 0915 was 2.5 nautical miles. Using this method, we have a bearing and a distance using only one object.